Hello, beautiful, blessed souls. How y'all doing? Welcome to Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're new, welcome. We'd love for you to be part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. If you're returning sub, thank you so much for all your love, likes, subs, comments. It truly warms my heart to the bottom of my heart for your trust, and I appreciate and love you all so very, very much. A little bit about me. I, I channeled energy in a journal um, each and every day. Um, these are just a snippet of the journals I've done. I've got boxes. I've been doing this since the age of nine, and I strictly flip the cards out of my own entertainment purposes, as the cards always resonate with the energy message in the journal. I'm merely just a messenger on this journey. I meant to, and I've been told to debunk the myths out there and just come with the truth of messages uh, as it relates to twin flame, soulmate, uh, however you resonate, faded connections. I am to a twin, back in physical essence of my twin. We went through a physical separation, which was uh, uh, eye-opening, grueling, all at the same time. It's a journey mostly to oneself, but ultimately to each other if you follow the word of unconditional love, forgiveness, and faith. So again, I just message through messages and or music. I have a lot of meditation videos out there. I'm working on a documentary, an awakening documentary, and I'm just in the writing process now. So for all of you, thank you so much for volunteering. I will be reaching out to you in the next couple of months uh, for your interview. So uh, I do send a disclaimer and a sample of 20 questions. You do not have to answer those questions. Those are the questions we'll be doing. Um, when we meet live and again you can completely remain anonymous you don't need we don't need your name so thank you so much and um, from this moment moving forward i'm going to be offering two lucky viewers a week a chance to win one of these four card messages from anything that i do in my daily messages so good luck beautiful souls and i'm going to get started now so i'm going to go through my journal i always leave a, a little bit of stuff out just from the element of my own surprise because it never ceases to amaze me how these cards can jump out, fly out as it, re it relates to my journal. So I have a few things here. Um, and again, it's just, I get these messages and I don't know who they're for. Not everything will resonate. So just pack away what doesn't. So I have here a strong telepathic connection. Um, someone can't keep their eyes off of you. So it, it may, I feel like when I was meditating in the bath today, um, I feel more masculine energy and they're they're just constantly if if they have a photo of you um they're constantly looking at it on on their phone and they just can't keep their eyes off of you which is beautiful i have unconditional love and i feel that message needs to come out today and again it's not me it's my messenger and it's loving freely without ask or condition but i feel there's a very strong loving connection of unconditional love right now um follow you Many of you are following your life path, which is beautiful. And the numbers is 111, 222, and 717. Again, merely just a messenger here wrote thousands of pages of messages while I was in separation. And by the grace of God, we made our way back to each other. One thing I want to say about the number 717 is I kept seeing this number before we came into physical harmony, like physical reunion. And that's why I reference specific numbers on this journey. So if you're seeing that number, it's a good indication that divine God is moving you closer to physical harmony and physical union. It could be anything. And when I when I see things, it's like on a license plate 717 or, um, you know, views 717. It, it, it's, it's not like I'm looking for it. It jumps out at me. And again, I believe these messenger, messages are meant for you and one last thing get out into nature nature is god's artwork and it is meant um just for you to get out and ground your energy and there's going to be some very profound messenger in nature in the next 48 hours so that's what i have for you i'm going to get started i always do what's in the masculine's heart space if they can say anything to the feminine, what would it be? What's in the feminine heart space? And if they could say anything, what would it be? And the overall energy of this beautiful, magical blessing of a connection, even though sometimes it doesn't seem that way. I just let the cards fall out. If one, if one fall, falls out, I take it. If four fall out, I take it. 
So I'm going to get started. So this is what's in the masculine's heart space. As of the moment, we live in the moment. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. And another moment about your past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Because it really, truly robs you and steals you of the moment of now. Let it go. Oh, and there's one thing I wanted to put in there. Do you need to forgive someone? I feel like there's someone out there um, and y y you need to forgive. Um, you don't... Forgiving is, you can do it in a way that you just forgive them, even if you don't want them as part of your soul circle. You just forgive them because it's preventing you to move forward. And you, you truly, truly have to forgive them and mean that in your soul. So I don't know who that message is for, so I'm going to get started here. And this is masculine energy, by the way. And if it's two, three, I'll take it, but it's not. So I'm going to ask for one card. Okay. Tough message, but it all resonates with the energy. So... Um, this is a Divine Masculine reading, Cycles, Challenges, Stuck. These cards are no coincidence. They come out the way they're meant to come out. And I feel like there's a few, there's a few things going on here. Um, the Masculine energy has overcome some fairly big hurdles in their life, some fairly big cha uh, challenges. And they were stuck in, the, in, the, on the, in these cycles. And this perpet perpetual cycle. I want to say that it is a karmic interference, and that's the cycle, because um, they, they're guarding their hearts, they're protecting their hearts. But one thing I will say is that they've overcome all of these challenges, they're no longer stuck, and these cycles are over. And why do, this, why do these cards come out? Sometimes they come out because you need to hear the message at this moment, and or the message isn't being heard. And if you stumbled across this message today, perfect, you're meant to hear it. But this is done. Like, this is a done deal. Um, no two journeys are the same. We all have a different genetic blueprint. And thank you so much for all of you that steal that <laughs> from me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's a lot of people out there that piggyback off my content. Um, so no two journeys are the same. So not all divine masculines are, are walking at the same pace you know, or going through their journey at the same pace. It's every every day is a new moment and a new day. So there, many of them are just overcoming these challenges that life has thrown to them and getting and just moving and getting off that Ferris wheel of this perpetual cycle and this never ending story. And it's beautiful and I love it all so much. I'm gonna set those up there. And lastly, Divine Masculine. Um, the divine masculine knows that they are your twin they've known for quite some time they some of them may not know the exact terminology of twin flames but what they do know is that there's this love in their heart for their feminine that they cannot shake it, no matter how hard they try and to push it away and that's the instinct that's the automatic instinct when you go into this physical separation mode it, it, they just want to push it away because their ego gets into, into into the way and it interferes because they can't understand how and why this love they come to the they come to the consensus they truly do and if you've been listening to me for a few years i met mine in 2019 i met him we had this bubble love for two months from march to may and then we didn't see each other or speak to each other. We had zero contact for a year and a half. And then we magically came together. And when we did come together, he specifically said to me, um, the first conversation we had, I was in school, film school, and he, I said, I'm doing a documentary on awakening. And this is how long this has been going on. <laughs> I mean, it's it's got to be perfect, so things take time. And he said, what, on Twin Flames? Like, it was just too strange. So he came he came to this knowledge when he was meant to come to it. So the, the masculine knows that there's something far greater and far deeper in their heart that they can articulate or even explain. So it's beautiful. 
If they could say anything to the feminine energy, what would it be? And again, just energy. I always say this. Don't get caught in that spiritual trap. I have a video. Um, I think there, it's a spiritual trap video. It's an excellent video. And everything I do, I do for you beautiful souls and beings. It, because I want you to find your way back. Because there's nothing more rewarding on this earth to come back into physical reunion to, with your twin. It's not all um, a bed of roses when you come back together because there's still a few triggers that you need to work through. But I would love nothing more than you to come back into the arms of your beloved soul. So check that out, spiritual traps, because I myself got caught in those. And I feel like that was a block. So if they could say anything, what would it be? This one wants to come out. And if it's three, I'll take it. And it is. So, oh, I love, 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 love this. Um, this is beautiful message. You'll always get beautiful, loving messages here. I cannot wait to explore the world together. Um, the They're moving mountains and, you know, to get to you. It's actually God that's moving the mountains and splitting the rivers, the oceans, whatever it may be, um, for you to get to each other in physical. You have to listen. You have to trust your gut, your inner guide, um, and do all of the things that this spiritual guidance gives to you. And you're here, um, thank goodness, to get that spiritual guidance, the truth. Um, and they can't wait to explore the, mount the, the mountains, <laughs> the world. Hey, mountains is in the world. Um, they can't ex wait to explore explore that world with you so the knowledge the wisdom and the vision has come to them and they're moving they're getting out of these cycles they're no longer stuck they've had some challenges but through it all you are their their foundation you're their anchor um, and they can't wait to explore the world together you balance my heart chakra um, i lie awake manifesting our love this is unconditional love, which I, I journaled, I spoke of. Um, it's very strong right now. And they are lying awake manifesting love for you. Um, they love you. And through all of their challenges, they've, they have, um, their heart has been with you. And as a result of this chakra, this heart chakra balancing and opening up, they ha it has opened them up to many many gifts and telepathic is one of those gifts telepathy i know there's a lot of myths out there there's a lot of people you know that don't believe and the people that don't believe are the ones that are trapped with a scientific explanation and now well, too bad for them that's all i have to say science doesn't define us god does and there are so many things on this earth that are not explainable by science. And I have been uh, fully, <laughs> uh, many, many things. I could, I could talk to you for hours of some of the things that I can't believe have happened to oneself. Um, and I just gave it to God and realized that there's so much more out there than science can explain and manifestation and heart chakras and telepathic communication is real because we live it. And all of those naysayers, um, they haven't opened up their heart and they haven't opened up their soul and they haven't awakened. So don't let those naysayers define the gifts that you have been presented with, but that's beautiful. And lastly, our love flows through our soul energetically and effortlessly. Telepathic is all sorts of things. It's feeling and hearing the thoughts of others, feeling the energy. We are energy. This world is energy. Everything is energy. Trees, plants, flowers, animals, everything. Light, believe it or not. Some of you may have some lights flickering all the time. If there's lights flickering all the time, first of all, check your light bulbs. <laughs> Um, but that is also to a sign, which is not um, scientifically explainable. When I was in my old house, 
I, I have Epsom salt baths every day and I meditate in the bath. And I don't know, I felt, I felt like it was my father's presence all the time. And my better, my twin, my beloved soul is an electrician. <laughs> And the lights used to flicker and they would go completely out when I was in the bath. This was when we weren't together. Um, and I changed the light bulbs and it would still happen. So when we came back into physical essence of each other, it was doing it for about a, a good few months. Um, and my twin is like, what is going on? Like every time I go in there, the lights shut off and I'm like, I feel like uh, my father is blessing our um, union. And he's there letting us know that he's protecting us. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. You're very energetically connected right now. And don't listen to the nemesis of other people's ignorance. Sometimes that's the block. And sometimes you're your own block because you don't think it's true. So now I'm going to do what's in the feminine's heart space as of the moment. So beautiful message. it's four I'll take it it's not it's three I'm gonna ask for four cards please ironically the two cards came out and you see me shuffled up okay I'm gonna ask for three cards no way okay this is feminine heart space as of the moment. And, uh, oops, that's two. I'm going to ask for one card, please. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Sometimes this just takes time. Eh. <laughs> one card, please. Thank you. Usually when I ask politely, I get it. <laughs> you can always hear my parents saying, use your manners. Okay. Um, and travel. Um, feminine energy. Some of you are, it's suggested to take a trip to travel, um, to ground, um, you know, your energy. It could be some pretty tough energy. I have water here. I have mountains. Travel and ground sit by the water um, I know this sounds stupid and I did this so many times and you wouldn't believe how much it helped hug a tree touch a tree the water is the most soothing and most therapeutic so if you can travel there get some get, ground some of your energy I feel like this message is for you the one that I have in my journal if you travel and get out into nature um, there is going to be a very very profound sign and it, it is it, it is going to be life-changing so and it is going to be life-changing for you and this journey and um there are some third-party blocks i feel like it's these naysayers um that are out there that are ignorant to um how truly beautiful this connection is um what's living my life i'm a finance manager i never asked for any of this it just came to me and I'm I, I'm very <laughs> I'm, I'm into I'm a very intellectual person being in finance and when all of this stuff came I kept questioning every single component but every question that I had miraculously an answer came and I truly believe that was from God and maybe that third party block is you and your reluctance to accept the gift and the blessing that's right in front of you and it also could be this this is a journey of love unconditional love and self-love and i can't i can't explain where this twin flame word came where this methodology came but it came from a re it came from a resource that is meant to be there there are no coincidences in life and this is a journey of love unconditional love is soul love but it also takes you to a point of self-love. And some, I don't know if 
again, we all, many of us suffer trauma in this life. And I don't know if, to, again, I'm not, you know, this, there is no Twin Flame University out there. And if people are com like proclaiming to be these experts and asking you for money and stuff like that, they're just filling their pockets. They're not truly giving their gifts back to you. And, you know, it is a journey of love. And I don't know if, if maybe s twins suffer severe trauma and this is God's way of showing you um, to overcome that trauma and not be a prisoner of yourself and get to that point of self-love. There's certain answers I can't answer, but I can give you guidance. And self-love is the, the, end, the end game, the journey. And once you get to that self-love and truly love yourself, and then that's when the magic appears. Truly, truly, it does. I don't often speak of my twin. He likes to be behind the sidelines, um, supporting me and, you know, being my cheerleader. Um, but it, it's crazy, the trauma that we both suffered. It's, it's insane. And we healed that trauma within each other. And it's such a beautiful thing. Self-love. So uh, I'm going to, if the feminine could say anything to the masculine, what would it be? And I'm going to ask, I'm going to shuffle these first. Um, and I'm going to ask for four cards. Excellent. Beautiful. There's a lot of love in the air. Uh, and amazing. So you're balancing and you're you're just transferring. This energy transference between you right now is beautiful. Keep it up. So nothing can ever sever our soul bond. Um, one thing about you, feminine energy, you um, protect and hang on to this with such love and um, nurt nurturing energy and you know in your soul and your heart and your soul of souls that nothing can sever the bond that you share you're a little bit ahead sometimes the masculine energy is like lost on the journey um, and that's because the ego interferes and purposely loses them it's 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 a and it, I don't like to swear, but it's a fucked up journey. Um, <laughs> that's all I can say. I love you to infinity. Um, absolutely. The love is very strong. You balance my heart chakra. You're aligning each other's heart chakra. And the masculine is saying the same to you. And you're saying the same to them. This is not a coincidence how these cards fall. You hear me shuffle them. Like it's... You are balancing each other's heart chakra. And if you're feeling, you're going to feel some very, very strange sensations when your heart chakra is aligned. It's scary. You could have NDE and OBE, near-death experience or out-of-body experience. I did the same. It was crazy. and But you also feel like this sense of bliss. And it's, it's not a similar, it just doesn't happen once. It can happen a multitude of times. So, you know, as it opens and balances, you have this, this bliss and this overwhelming sense of love, if that makes any sense. And masculine, it's difficult for the feminine too. Um, it's very difficult. It's difficult for each of you. You have your, each of you have your um, own ego to deal with and it's different elements of the ego. And it's very difficult too um, for the feminine energy. Um, they're longing for your, your, the comfort of you. And it's beautiful. And I love it all so much. So what's the overall energy? I put the cards back in the deck. What's the overall energy of this beautiful connection? I'm going to ask for four cards, please. Overall energy. It's four. No. Nope. So I'm going to ask for four cards. Thank you. I cannot believe this. <clears throat> Overall energy. OK, 
can't believe how this is coming out. Okay. Um, so I don't want to go back to my journal. If you were listening to the message at the beginning, um, it says, I can't keep my eyes off of you. I don't know how this, this card totally resonates with that. Um, I feel like this is overall energy. I feel like you're both, you're both, you're curious. It's nothing, um, I want to say stalkerish, if there, if, if there is even such a word, it's curious. I mean, if someone's stalking you, like, I mean, that's grounds for, you know, your own protection and you need what you need to do. But this is just curious, curiosity and love. And you, you can't keep your eyes off of each other. And something very strong in the universe is because of this love, you're just curious. Um, and somehow, some way, some, like I said, some very relevant information, um, some form of a very powerful sign is coming. Um, and that is if you get out and ground. Um, it could even be, um, for some of you, the cycles cards coming out again. You may not know what your, the, the cycle is, is that you need to complete. And by getting out into that energy and traveling somewhere where you can just have solitude and no disruption from any outside interaction, that message, that sign, that profound message will come to you. And very strong sexual energy. As a result of loving energy, there's sexual energy too. And both of you are very attracted to each other um, sexually. And you view each other as the most beautiful soul inside and out. They're, they are, are flawless to you. And prince, princess, god, goddess, you know, um, queen, king, you view each other as that. And there's very strong sexual energy and that can come out of nowhere. That's your twin. It's crazy how the dynamics of this journey works. So that's that, beautiful. I want to give you some of these. They're beautiful cards, beautiful artwork, beautiful messages. And again, merely just a messenger here. Um, you know, I like to be known as a messenger. <laughs> um, uh, even though a lot of stuff does come into fruition. Um, I just don't, I think you're testing fate if you're, if you're going to the future. <clears throat> and it could change the path that you're, you're not meant to be on. So this is three. Um, I cannot believe this. I have that written down. Okay. I meant to say this as well. Um, so this is overall energy again, just a different type of message. So we have here, we have appreciation and we have blossoming abundance. I have this written down and for some reason, um, I feel like if the number 717 represents blossoming abundance as well um, and appreciation. So the more you appreciate, the more you invite abundance in your, your life. The more you focus on um, negative, annotations in your life or negative things in your life, the more you invite them into your life. So have appreciation, affirmations, positive affirmations of self-love, that self-love came out, love you. And well, how do you do it? Write it down. I do at least 50 affirmations every morning. And to give you an inclination of what it is, it's like, thank you for health. Thank you for sight, smell, taste, touch, feel, clean water, food, shelter. That's appreciation. And when you bring appreciation and you invite that appreciation in, you automatically blossom abundance. Some of you are not feeling appreciative and you're fo focusing on the things that you don't have when you should be focusing on the things that you do have. Beautiful, beautiful message. And everybody could learn for that message. And number seven, I have community. But how I resonate this card is um, there's a, someone in your soul circle that's a naysayer that's going behind your back and just putting out this negative energy for you and your twin. 
and because they don't understand this gift and the clairvoyance that you both have so um maybe getting out and f it, those answers will always come if you just clear the mind and listen to the voice and the reason of the heart answers will come but there's a naysayer out there in your soul tribe and first chakra archangel michael that's the root chakra it's located at the base of the spine it forms foundation governs our understanding grounding and connectedness to the physical world when developed it brings us health prosperity security and dynamic presence and i feel like um it forms a foundation and you form that foundation with each other however with that being said i feel like some of your your um, first chakras are blocked i have a root chakra video out there for you beautiful blessed souls listen even if it's 10 minutes three times a day clear it um you may have very um, bad lower back pain and or digestive disrupt and if you do it's a very good indi indication that your root is blocked and it is grounding and connectedness so the grounding card came out as well and that's to the physical element of the world we live in so that's what i have for you beautiful souls today beautiful message i love this message you know as i as i you know speak the message the words, um, the messages, they all come simultaneously. Um, and it's all for your beautiful souls and, the, and on, on how to evolve and move forward in, in self-love. And we have this. Do not fear the current changes. All is happening with your divine plan. The current events are paving the way to a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive and light. There are a lot of changes. There's a lot of cycles that are being completed. There's challenges. Uh, change is good. It's don't be afraid of it. Just embrace it and know that the greater good is happening behind the scenes for you. So that's all I have for you today, beautiful souls. If any of this resonates, kindly hit the thumbs up notification bell, comment. We love to hear your comments and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to be um, entered into our weekly draw of any one of these four messages. Um, and good luck, beautiful souls. And if you're an existing sub, just like and comment, you'll be added in there as well into the, I want to say lottery pool. <laughs> um, have a great day, beautiful souls.